all about, my dears. Won't keep you but a minute. I'm putting my singing there on, you see. I can't sing without my singing there on, can I? <laughs> That's it. Off we go. Hi, guys. Kevin from Whirling Vapors back again. Yet third um, review today. Um, this time, the Aero Tank, the Kanga Aero Tank. Um, I don't know what mark that is. It's a, it's a bottom filling tank anyway. Um, let's uh, let's go down to the table and I'll show you. All right. So here we have the uh, the Kanga Tech um, Aero Tank. Um, I must say. Um, it's beginning to become standard now that uh, the manufacturers put aero, uh, put um, airflow, adjustable airflow on their tanks, which I think is brilliant. Anyway, um, let's open her up. As you can see, I've had this for quite a while. I'm always late in doing my reviews, as far as uh, other reviewers are, are concerned. Like you know, but. Uh, the um, the dual coils would have sat there. Um, I have used both of them. I've got a, one in there. Um, it comes with a beauty ring for those um, that uh, have got 510 connection, and uh, it, it just it it just makes it look uh, look be look better. Um, here's the actual tank itself nice little thing um, it's uh, 2.5 it will hold sorry it will hold 2.5 mil of liquid um, which is fair enough I mean it's a nice little thing again I uh, I'll, normally I would use this on um, my uh, Inikin VV, um, but uh, today I've decided to uh, pair it up with uh, my Diamond Mist mod, um, which is quite good because it tells you the ohms of the. Uh, I've got some liquid on there. Um, tells you the ohms of your uh, your coil, which is good. Ah. So here's the tank. Removable drip tip. You can use your own drip tip if you prefer. Um, this one is 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 okay. Um, but I do prefer um, uh, one that uh, that tapers a little bit. So um, I'll what I'll do is I'll take the one off of uh, the uh, take this one off of here. Put that one. Oh. <laughs> Uh, the Aero Tank Mini Top. It's uh, to me it fit, it fits better in my mouth, but uh, it's all personal taste really. I put that to one side before I lose it. Right, so um, it's a bottom filling uh, tank clearizer. So you undo the bottom of the, uh, the tank, and there's your coil. Again, it's a standard Kanga coil. I'm not even going to bother to take it out to show you. Right. Take your drip tip off. And disassemble the uh, the tank itself. So the tank actually comes in Two, four, five pieces. Well, six pieces if you include the uh, 
um, the coil. Oh, right, okay, so what we'll do is we'll put it back together again. I'll fill her up and uh, we'll take a vape off of her. Like I said, um, tighten her up, not too, t well, tighten her up as far as you can tighten her up, but not over tight, otherwise, you'll have a devil's own job trying to undo her, as I've said before. The coil goes in there, drip tip goes in there, so there you go, there's your thing. Right, so now let's find some liquid to fill this with. Um, oh, I know what I'm going to put in here. I'm going to put some butterscotch in there because I absolutely adore butterscotch. Here we go. Right. There we go. There's this. Is. Now try not to get it in that hole. Um, I can't tip it now because I filled it up. <laughs> Plonker. But there's uh, there's a tube in there that allows you to put your drip tip on so that you can get the vapour from the uh, the coil. Um, try not to get any down there, otherwise you're going to be sucking juice. Um, your coil head fits inside that tube, and just tighten that up. Not too tight, but not over tight, if you know what I mean. Right there we go. Let's pop that back on there. Pop that on there, put that away before I tip it over and have juice flooded everywhere. So there's there's the tank full. Um, as I said, I'm going to put it on my diamond mist. It looks a bit odd on there, but um, this is just for a purpose of demonstration anyway. Um, I call it a diamond mist, it's actually a Cronus. So, um, I think uh, a diamond mist were the people that uh, um, were the manufacturers. Anyway, um, she has got air holes, it, it, they are adjustable, so um, I generally keep, uh, I keep it wide open. I keep it wide open usually because, uh, I, as I said before, I prefer the area draw. Okay, let's go back up to the top. I'll give her a, a, a two, and uh, you can see the vapor production from her. Right, hi guys, back up top again. Let's give this a bit of a bit of a two. She got a two point one. I'm coiling there and I'm vaping her at 10 watts. Oh, butterscotch. I absolutely adore butterscotch. <coughs> yeah, no, that's that's fine. Vapor production's quite quite good. The uh, airflow, excellent. Uh, with it wide open. If uh, um, those people that prefer a, a tighter draw, I would suggest that uh, you uh, um, close it up a little bit. Uh, I prefer an, an area draw, so an area draw. So there you go. Okay, right. Let's have another two. Oh, you get a decent amount of vapour from it. I wouldn't say it's overly brilliant, um, but you get a decent amount of vapour from it. Um, oh, there you go. There isn't really that much more that I can say about it. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to call a halt to this today, um, and uh, I'll uh, I'll see you on the next one. It uh, as always, stay safe, vape on.